You feel like I'm ripping you off? Hey, Amen. You know. All right, so here I got this power bank off this gentleman. Who All right, so if you're watching this, this is the day before the flea market. It is Wednesday. So we got this giant RC uh, car going out for parts. I already got a shipping quote on it. Got a box over here that should work just fine for it. It is pretty large, but um, the buyer paid $40 for shipping. <laughs> Factored in a couple extra bucks. $40 for shipping and then like another 65 for the car. So, I mean, overall, like, not the best for, I mean, what it is, but, I mean, 10 into 65. But at the same time, it's kind of funny because, like, to package and ship this thing up is, like, kind of a pain in the ass. And it, it's just, like, kind of one of those things is, like, do you want to deal with it? Or I could have just left it there and gave the guy no money. But it's funny how, like, no matter what, no matter how much money you make on an item, it's, like, you're always going to get shitted on, right? But let's not worry about that. Try to focus on making some money for how much work it's going to be just to package that up. All right, with that being said, let's just get back to the video. Wow, look at that. The mystery machine. That thing's sick. Almost makes me want to get a Scooby snack. Yeah, buddy. All right, this is my first time going to the flea market during this time of the year. So I'm honestly not even sure how many people will actually sell um, at the flea market this time of year. So let's see what happens. How you doing today, boss? Not too bad. Well, I've uh, been better for sure. I swear, this last like month or so, back and knees have been done. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm trying to get it by. I've been like kind of more or less focusing on like the VA side of things. What is this, like a Thomas Kincaid piece? Oh yeah, Thomas Kincaid. I don't do the best with Thomas Kincaid. This guy's got a cool... <laughs> Baxter Bear, he works. It's kind of neat. Baxter Bear. Yeah, he's like old. It's like an animated piece? Yeah, I don't know exactly what he does. But <laughs> That's cool. How much are you looking to get on him? I do 20 bucks. 20 bucks? <laughs> and you said it did work. It does work. Yeah. Okay. That's a cool piece. I think it was uh, for the 90s, I think. Yeah, I'll give you 20 for it. Is this a reproduction? Yeah, the oldest ones are these three. These are from the 90s. Okay. Yeah, they were hanging up behind a guy's bar. <laughs> I know the, uh, the Babe Ruth one. I know they can't make them anymore, so that one's a little bit harder to get. You know, all kinds of stuff. There's 20 for Baxter the Bear. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna go take a look over here. Okay. And uh, that's his little docks so you gotta grab that with him. Does that actually go with yeah, it? It does, yeah, it does go with it. <laughs> <laughs> Sits on the dock. <laughs> all right, I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, let me see what else you got on the other side. All right, as usual, I appreciate you. Hey, man, and I feel, uh, hope you feel better. Right? All right, I appreciate it. You take care. I take care. How much are you asking on the the chalkboard? What chalkboard is that? The Harley Davidson. supposed to be like that uh, I think all the key holders are broken on it the supposed to be able to put keys on here so they're all broken off oh yeah no worries I think I'll have to pass on it though no, 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 I'm not fine. I'm fine. all right what about the uh, the clock what conditions that in the Sony here 20 bucks on that one I told him I should sell that for $40. That's a um, dream machine. They, yeah, they, those are old. And that, uh -huh. everything works on it, I guarantee it. What about the tray? 
Five bucks. Five bucks? Yeah. I saw one of them already for ten. Five bucks on there. Alright. I'll, I'll do five on the tray. <coughs> um some pickings. Mm, break it for me. I sold two of them already, $10 each. $10 each. Can you do... Yeah. Can you do 10 for the pair? Go ahead. Yeah. All right. You got to change for a 20? Yeah. What you want to do on that? Ah, I can't come close to that. Especially... I, I don't even like... online. It's like 40, 50... I don't like... Um, what you have there? I'd probably say this is probably closer to like 20, 25. Yeah. There's no money in it for me. Oh, okay. Got to make at least a couple bucks myself, especially on electronics. It, you know, it sucks to try to make a couple bucks on, it and then you find out like something doesn't work on it. The the clock works, the radio works, but the CD player don't work. And then you know what I mean. I appreciate your offer, anyways. Have a nice day, all right? You too. Stay warm. Man, we get paranoid about that car, that wagon. Alrighty. You too. That's a cool clock. How much you got? That was a hundred. <laughs> hundred on the clock? Yeah. Works, lights up, clock works. Oh boy. Like 25 bucks. Yeah, go to high. Uh, worth point here. Yeah. 60 is the best. All right. People people need to understand like where they fall into like selling their stuff. Like if you're going to if you're going to sell your stuff like dirty or broken or untested, then you shouldn't be asking $100 for it. I mean, you don't even know if it works. <laughs> How does that make any sense? And other people don't understand the time investment. It's a job. Yeah, exactly. Shit doesn't no, yeah, no, exactly. And people don't look at it like that. Like, there's time invested into and testing it, cleaning it. New yeah, I've had times where it took me an hour to clean an item. Oh, easy. It, it, it might have paid $10 for it and sold it for 100 but it still took me an hour to clean it. it took me X amount of time to list it. And like I had time into it. You sold it for a hundred. You only got it. And you don't even know what you're cleaning. It's like nasty. Sh they take a percentage of the shipping. No, they take it. Yeah, they take a of percentage of. Yeah, it's the total. It's the total cost. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good luck to you. All right, thank you. <coughs> you have a good one. Hey, whose stuff is this? Soundmaster two ten. Huh. All right, Charlie. Condition is this in? Good. How you doing, sir? I think I bought from you a couple months ago. Is this uh okay? Oh, that's what's in there. I'm like, oh, I don't know what's in there. How much you asking on it? Ten bucks, man. Ten bucks. You know what condition it's in? If it works or not? No, I'm not sure. Well, you, but you, you acted like you didn't even know it was in there. But so. I do have a return <laughs> policy. Okay. <laughs> if it doesn't work, if you, oh, you don't put it back in there. All right. I'll give you 10 on it. I mean, you offer, is that fair? Yeah. All right. I don't, <laughs> you don't feel like, you don't feel like if, if you offer me 10, you feel like I'm ripping you off? Hey, man. I'm known as the guy who trains or whatever I buy. I try to buy it cheap so I can sell it cheap. Gotcha. And that way my customers come back. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I have a return policy too, man. 
you know, and, and, and uh, see, I honestly, I rather just buy, be confident in my purchase, yeah. and if it don't work out, it don't work out. I'll yeah, but see, I don't, I'm not the type, like, I'm, All right, Charlie. I'm not gonna go around trying to find people, then I got a really shitty memory. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to, it's not that hard to find me. I got trains and a big red truck. Yeah. It's the only one that's out here. <laughs> But this is all I'm saying is, you have a guarantee. Here, if anything, I got uh, I got ten ones. Yeah, let me have that. I can use it. You want to shut it up? Come some SPC. But you got to get a uh, hey, you'll four, five, five, you, I have a return six, policy. Six, seven, eight. That's good for you, man. Quite that bitch right down. That's good for everybody. And the easiest part that's, is... That's the best way to sell stuff is a return policy. I just... It's like I'm hard to find. Yeah. Honestly, I, I really am not the type of person to return anything. I really don't do it. I've had times where I bought the wrong thing on Amazon or eBay, and I'm just... I'm not going to go out of my way to return it. Just... I don't know. I just like... I'm I'm a, I'm very confident in my purchase. With me, I got trained, right? <laughs> Sometimes they're older <laughs> trains that have been around a while. Yeah. So I'll go in a minute, Bobby. I ain't got guys I've been working on for the I last will. 30 years, man. Gotcha. So I don't have any problem with them, you know. Most yeah. Most of the time the stuff works, but every once in a while, and I don't want, you know, they buy trains from me all the time. I'd like them to know that. Just bring it back. Gotcha. And I got you covered. All right. Well, as long as you're happy with your sale, I'm happy with my purchase. I'm loving it, man. Yeah. But if you have a problem. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. I appreciate you, sir. All right, let him know and we'll kick him in the head. <laughs> All right, y'all take care. All right, man. Like no one down at those ends over there. It's 450. Oof. Not a bad price. Not a bad price. Not a bad price. For someone that needs it. Not really getting the most amount of deals right now because there's not really too many people selling this time of year. What are you buying? <laughs> I normally look for electronics, collectibles, stuff like that. There's something I'll give you. Somebody gave me this and I have no use for it. Didn't open it. And maybe you can use it. No, I'm not gonna take that off of you. You can have it. How much do you want for it? You can have it. I'm not gonna take nothing off of you. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'll give you at least a couple bucks. I mean I don't even know. It's it's for you know, you can charge your phone forever, like you know. So. Yeah. If anything, those are those are nice and convenient to have. Okay. I'll, I'll buy it, but you can have it. Oh, uh, here. Don't there's you, there's you? five bucks right there. Okay. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> but all right, I appreciate you, sir. All Thank right. you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. All right, maybe I'll see you next week. Sure, yeah, bye -bye. A very nice guy back there, you know, and you can never have enough of those portable chargers. How much are you asking on the sleds? Three for ten. Three for ten. Yeah, I gotta put some wax on the bottom. That way you can really get some good speed. That's what you really need. <laughs> uh, I used to have one like that. You know, I'm from upstate New York where we really get snow. <laughs> Three for ten. All right, I'll do it. <laughs> Just in case we get some snow. Yeah. yeah, we're supposed to get a couple inches. It's like every other winter here. You get snow, and some winters you don't. All righty. Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you. Y'all take care. You too. Whew. All right. I think that's going to do it at the flea market. I will slide that. Like so, well, that's going to do it at the Columbus Flea Market. See what we got. So, yeah, it was definitely pretty dead there at the flea market, but still got a few uh, few little finds today. We got Baxter the Bear here. Paid 20 for him. Should be able to get about 40 to $50 on him. 
it came with this stand, but I mean, this stand isn't original to that, but I'll probably use the stand for something else. All right, got this power bank off this guy. He tried to give it to me for free. It does look like it's brand new. I mean, honestly, this is obviously not something I would even try to resell because this will probably never sell, but um, you can never have enough of these. Got three sleds here, personal buy. 10 bucks into those and then honestly this is probably the best buy paid ten dollars for this i mean i'm gonna test it whenever i get home uh depending on what condition this is in should go for like 50 60 bucks no problem i've seen some going brand new condition for a little over 100 so we'll see what happens and then these you know nothing crazy here some arctic light beer tray uh beer trays and got five dollars each of those and i should be able to go out 15 to 20 bucks so nothing crazy nothing crazy today all right i'm gonna get ready to head to the storage unit and let me show you a few things that sold uh yesterday all right like i said my sales have been like super slow lately so behind me i got this right angle beveling machine that's going out for 390 dollars free shipping all right, so I picked up this on Facebook Marketplace for $150. This piece right here was actually very difficult to figure out to what even price it at. I honestly thought maybe I could get more money, like $1,000, $1,200, $1,500. These MSRP for like three grand or something crazy. But the sell-through on them is like non-existent. So I took a, I took a gamble on it. And um, it took, I don't even know, maybe eight months maybe about eight, nine months to sell, something like that. And um, finally sold, but after shipping fees and everything, I'll probably make like a hundred dollars profit to ship out this heavy thing that probably weighs about 40, 50 pounds. Um, it'll probably cost maybe 50, $60 UPS, FedEx to go all the way to California. So like I said, hundred dollars profit, 150 invested. Not the best flip, but not the worst one either. But that kind of goes to show why I like to get my stuff like super cheap. And then over here, we got this red wing uh, casserole dish. All right, so I picked up this red wing dish for $20 at the flea market. I guess this color right here was supposed to be pretty rare. I'm not gonna lie. I thought that maybe this could sell for more money, but it's always like, you know, you don't, especially the collectible market has definitely gone down over the last year or so, but I got 20 into it, sold for $81 free shipping, and it shouldn't cost more than like $15 to ship out. Expect after fees, shipping everything, I should probably make about $35 profit. All right, so let's use this piece as an example. I mean, really we can use anything that I really have for sale as an example, but if I would have ended up paying, let's say $40 for this, I mean, that would have literally eaten up almost all of my profit. So I think that right there, it kind of just goes to show why really you, you need to try to get a better deal. I got another thing that sold over here, this vintage uh, coach bag. I think it's actually right there on top. So this vintage leather coach bag, it had a mark on, I got this at, um, um, was I gonna say an estate sale and I bargained for this this was on that video if you hate resellers then watch this video and um, <laughs> I bargained to get the price down because um, I think she was asking like 40 45 something like that and um, I got the price down to 30 and this sold for $40 so after fees and everything said and done I'm gonna make about probably about four dollars profit yeah, on the leather bag, yeah, like I said, about $4 profit. So if I would have uh, paid the $40 that the woman was asking, I would have lost money, obviously. It wasn't the best purchase, but at the same time, I was kind of hoping to get maybe 60 on it. And I think, you know, I thought maybe I can get that stain completely out. Wasn't able to get it all the way out. Like I said, sold for 40 bucks plus shipping. Um, yeah, definitely not the best flip. All right, so that right there is just a few examples on why I like to try to keep my cost of goods as low as possible. I understand if there's like someone that I've bought from multiple times in the past and they've proven to be trustworthy, but there's just some things like people just either don't know how to test it 
or they didn't completely look it over for every single chip or every single, you know, little possible spider web crack or, or whatever. So, you know, sometimes you just, you can't give people what they're asking. Sometimes you can, sometimes you got a bargain if you want to try to, uh, you know, make a deal or want to try to make some profit on an item. But at the end of the day, like no matter what, there's always going to be people complaining and, um, you know, if people don't want to make a deal with me, they don't have to make a deal with me. If people aren't willing to bargain or want to get angry about it, then that's fine. I'll go to the next booth or I'll go to the next yard sale. I'll go to the next estate sale, whatever, you know, whatever. Like, you know, this is just, it's part of the job. I love reselling. I don't ever plan on stopping reselling. I think even if I won the mega millions, I think I would still resell just because I enjoy it. I enjoy going to the flea market. I enjoy going to yard sales. I enjoy meeting new people. You know, I got it. There's always going to be those people that say, oh yeah, you know, you're ripping that person off or you're stealing from people, whatever. And it's like, really, it's not stealing. It's not ripping off people. It, it's, it's not none of that. It's, we made a deal. You said that's how much you wanted for it. That's what I gave you. Like, are you watching the same video? Are you watching this video? Like, you know, I don't know if we're like in different realities or what, but that being said, you know, you can't make everyone happy, nor do I ever care to try to make everyone happy. I used to be a staff sergeant in the army. I was never able to make everyone happy, nor would I ever want to make everyone happy. Because there's, there's, there's a time and place for, um, there's a time and place for that. That being said, I'll see you in the next one. The Veteran Flipper out. Not quite done. I, I still got some more, Joey. So the Silver King gumball machine, I believe this sold for like $179.95, whatever, pretty much like $180. And um, you guys remember this from uh, the one flea market video. I think it was um, this flea market vendor didn't know what his stuff was worth or something like that. I'll throw it up on the screen. But I got a lot of like criticism for this purchase because I was talking the guy down as I do with a lot of things I like to negotiate. And <laughs> this sold, I thought that maybe I thought this would sell for maybe 250, 300, but there was like details about it that, um, I don't think, uh, a certain collector was looking for this, mach uh, gumball machine to get that 250, 300. This ended up selling, like I said, for about 180 bucks. And, um, I ended up paying $80 for it, but just like a lot of resellers, honestly, like if I'm going to dish out $80 for anything especially something like this it's fragile it's going to require you know a little bit more attention to detail a little bit better packaging you know a little bit more focus a little bit of research you know whatever if i'm going to dish out 80 dollars for this like i'm going to want to double my money i'm just being perfectly honest you know i've said this before in other videos like i'm going to want to come close to doubling my money and after promoted listings, which was a couple percent, and um, you know your standard fees, um, I think after everything was said and done, I'm left with like sixty-four dollars profit on this gumball machine, which I think is interesting. Sixty-four dollars profit, not bad on eighty dollars, but at the same time, if you think about that, it could have been even lower what I could have got for it. So with that being said, um. You know, like I had comments that were like, oh, you're definitely going to get $300 for it, you piece of crap, because you lowballed the guy. And it's like, honestly, I could have literally ended up breaking even. And I, you know, to dish out $80, $100, or, you know, I've dished out $1,000 and broken even before. And, you know, some of you guys probably know what I'm talking about. But, you know, it happens. It happens. But that's why I like, you know, I've always said it in other videos. That's why I like to try to keep my cost of goods as low as possible. You know, I know <laughs> some people miss the bargaining videos. <laughs> some of you guys might hate it. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. The Veteran Flipper out.